Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll be showing you render settings for my project. Today we'll be working with this um, Sea View White Villa located somewhere in the Mediterranean from the looks of the vegetation. And the shot we're looking for is a clear sky, midday sunny uh, shot. So let's start by um, creating our base render. And a straight away a copy of the same thing where we can start applying our effects. We'll use uh, one of the preset Lumion styles just to pick the effects uh, for us pretty fast. In case you're using uh, older versions of Lumion, just uh, select them individually and you can follow along. So let's start with, the, with our first and that is uh, sun. As you can see, the sun is coming from uh, the back of the house. I want it in the front coming from my left. So we'll just simply rotate the sun heading somewhere around there, as you can see by the shadows in here, it is coming from my left. The sun brightness is okay, as well as the sun height. The shadows are short, which means the sun is very high in the sky, as it would be during the lunchtime. Moving on to uh, sky and clouds. I want to keep the, uh, the sky relatively uh, clear, so I'm just going to put only a little bit of uh, high clouds up there. It's a little uh, difficult to see. Let's position somewhere around here. There you go. Uh, bring down the sky brightness just to make them pop a little bit. There you go, as you can see, but not too much, otherwise you will uh, lose the, the brightness in your whole uh, model. We're done in here, moving on to sharpening tool. Just bring the uh, intensity up a little bit. Very easy to do. Exposure always as last, color correction. Now we're going to bring the brightness down just a little bit because we have a, a lot of uh, lot of white in our model, basically the, the whole house, which makes the, uh, the picture appear brighter. So we're going to bring it down just a bit and as well, as the contrast somewhere around there in case we need to come back we'll just uh, come back later on after we adjust other effects reflections we have a lot uh, today so let's just start picking them up one by one where we have uh, some glass surface that is visible from uh, this angle we need to pick it up and select it there is one in here at the back not forgetting the second floor. We have uh, glass railing in here on the right. Also this long one. There's glass in, in here on this side. Now we have two more left. Obviously uh, the main portion uh, of the pool and the water reflective surface. And there is one more left. I'm going to select the floor. Today we are using a very reflective uh, material. It is a, a white polished marble, which means there'll be reflections affecting the interior of the house as well. So that's why I selected the, uh, the floor. Confirming, uh, make sure you uh, turn the speed ray reflections, reflections on and we are done in here. Moving on to hyperlight and skylight, those uh, two effects that you will not be able to see the changes in your viewer. So you need to do a couple of uh, test renders to see the result. I'm going to bring the uh, hyperlight all the way up to get a little bit of uh, detail on the interior and also adjust the skylight. Now we'll turn the planar and the projective reflections on and the quality of the render high. And I'm going to bring the brightness down somewhere around here, one quarter. The reason uh, uh, being is we are using highly reflective uh, material in here, as I mentioned, the white marble, and that will reflect the sky and also the, the pool that surrounds the, uh, the house onto the interior, not only changing the brightness, but also the, the color spectrum. And it will push it to the blue because the, the, the sky is blue. So you need to be aware of that. And if adjustment needs to be done, you need to do the color correction or a brightness, um, potentially exposure. So uh, be careful about that and do a couple of uh, test renders. So I'm going to bring the brightness down here. 
as I test rendered before. Uh, shadows, now bringing up the brightness a little bit because uh, as you can see everything is white and like I mentioned before the, the marble is very reflective so there will be a, a lot of uh, light coming inside uh, the house despite the fact that the sun is very strong and the shadows should be really strong and sharp we'll still get a lot of light on the inside so we'll just bring the brightness up a little bit you leave the interior um, slider all the way down and the omni shadow I think is just about right don't forget to turn the soft and fine detail uh, shadows on and we are done with the shadows Moving on to chromatic aberrations, this is already preset from Lumion, you don't have to change that, just a little bit of dispersion. And the last one, depth of field, or second last, I'm going to bring the amount up, as you can see straight away. I'll use the uh, autofocus feature, use this uh, model sitting in, uh, in the jacuzzi to measure the, the distance, turn it on. And I want the, the foreground to be blurred a little more because that is not so important. So I'm just going to slide it down somewhere around there and perhaps the amount up. Which means she is going to be uh, sharp and pretty much anything behind her, the main portion of the house as well. And as you can see the foreground is nice and blurry and uh, just a little bit of, of the background but not too much. So the main uh, portion, the, the model will be nice and sharp. So we're done in here and the last one exposure I can see that is a little uh, too bright so we're going to bring it down that's a little too much somewhere around here again do a couple of test renders to see if the result is okay color correction just double check just a little bit of the contrast down and perhaps the brightness as well okay well, it looks, uh, it is set pretty, pretty well. So let's have a look what kind of result we're going to get uh, today. And as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Stay well and stay creative.